Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mike Thompson. And I'm Lisa Klein. The Gail Ettrick Trimpolo School District already cut teachers and increased elementary class sizes to balance this year's budget. Next year, they'll have to do more. That's why they're going to voters next week with a referendum. News Channel 8's Kristen Alessario joins us now with the details. Kristen? Five years ago, the GET community approved a five-year, $800,000 annual tax levy for school operating expenses. That referendum money will stop after this year, so the school board is asking voters to renew it. Approval for a renewed five-year, $800,000 referendum would keep the tax levy at its current level. It is not an increased amount, nor will it uh, adversely affect the taxes. It's simply maintaining. The district administrator says without it, things could get worse. We've really reached a point where uh, any further cuts are, are going to be uh, directly affecting students. The renewed tax levy would cost the owner of a $100,000 home an average of $90 each year. The school board has already cut transportation costs, middle school athletics and clubs, as well as high school co-curriculars. If we have to reduce by $800,000, we're going to see uh, class sizes increase. We're going to see uh, reductions in opportunities and, and you know, unfortunately as kids have less things to participate in there's less motivation as you start laying off staff the community becomes adversely affected. The school district is already ranked one of the lowest in spending for this area. Despite the cuts that have already been made, GET students continue to perform above the state of Wisconsin for student achievement. The quality of education in a community directly affects uh, the desire of families and, and businesses to come into the community. And we want our communities to thrive. The district administrator says the GET school board has kept expenses to a minimum, but because state funding has not kept up, the district continues to struggle. Grace adds, even with the passing of this referendum, the district will continue to look for ways to operate more efficiently and manage expenses. Mike? Well, tough times for a lot of school districts. All right, thanks, Kristen. People living in GET in the school district there will vote on the referendum next Tuesday.